You're going to tell me you don't have something to talk about. You don't know how to say what you need to say. You have plenty of things to talk about. You have plenty of opinions, impressions, things you love, things you hate. Even the concept of hate. I know it's too much, but you use that word all the time. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I have a cold. I hate colds. Oh, really? You hate them? Yeah, big deal. It's hyperbole. Things you love, things you hate. Things you see that come into your existence daily that are rife with stupidity and vapidity. It's just incredible, and you need to get angry at that stuff. You do, and I'm not saying you need to walk around being angry all the time. You need to see that you have things you are pushing against in order to solve those problems. You push against things in order to solve them. The best still life with puppies and flowers differs from the amateur bullshit still life with puppies and flowers because it is pushing against the ugliness of the world, the brutality of man, the tasteless, baseless, fundamentally wrong issues, and those people are actually bringing out the glory of the naive, the innocent, the pure, the wonderful, the honest. And the amateur stuff isn't. It pushes, even when it's nice. So don't tell me you don't have anything to talk about. Of course you do. You're passionate. You care. And that is fodder for everything you want to help solve. If you freeze up in the camera, that's, you know, there's methods to fix that. It's not about the camera. It's about you getting in your own way. You got to get out of your own way. Don't say it nice. Don't say it the way people you think people are going to like it. Say what you mean and make it important. You have plenty of things to talk about. So bring them now.